When this mother gave birth to a son after several miscarriages, she felt on cloud nine even though her baby was different from the other newborns. Poor Ellie was called monkey boy for years, but after the intervention of thousands of well-wishers, today he is simply unrecognizable. Ellie's mom was an ordinary woman from Rwanda. In many African cultures, having children is regarded as one of the best blessings you can ever hope for. This woman had been trying for a very long time to conceive, but the gift of motherhood kept escaping her. At least five times she fell pregnant, but lost the baby due to miscarriages. Each time she went through this turmoil, she lost a little bit of hope. She was almost about to give up when she realized that she was indeed pregnant again. Given her history, she waited for the nine months of pregnancy to go by with an inescapable feeling of anguish. As the weeks passed, she allowed some excitement to grow in her heart. At last, she could also become a mother. A child would fill her life with joy, but also greatly change her social status in her community. Or at least, that was what she expected and hoped for. Little did she know what challenges and difficulties awaited her. When her son was finally born in 1999, she gratefully and happily welcomed him into the world. She was so excited to hold him for the first time. Her baby was a little smaller than expected, but she was nevertheless grateful to have him. In her eyes, he was the most beautiful thing she'd ever seen, and she felt instant love for her baby boy. From the start, it was clear that Zanziman Eli was no ordinary child. Although he seemed healthy enough, it was clear that he was not developing at the same rate as other babies did. He had a lesser mental capacity, but also extraordinary physical features. Some people would openly describe his features as strange or abnormal, and so they did, often right in front of his mother. In fact, the people of the village where Ellie grew up showed no compassion and sympathy for this mother and son duo. For them, this was the start of almost a lifetime of ridicule and suffering. First of all, this family had to process the loss of a father and husband. Ellie's father in fact passed away when his son was still an infant. The single mother was left with no income or means of support, yet she had to try and put food on the table and look after her son who clearly had special needs. In the meantime, no one in the village was willing to help. This mother was left to fend for herself and her boy. Ellie was finally diagnosed with a condition known as microcephaly. When a child is born with this condition, he or she has a smaller than usual head that seems too tiny for the body size. As the child grows older, this imbalance becomes even more visible. The condition may be caused by various reasons, like exposure to certain viruses or environmental and social factors like poor nutrition and toxic chemicals in the air. Added features include facial deformities, hearing and speech impairment, as well as diminished cognitive abilities. Especially in communities where the understanding of medical conditions and genetics is limited, people can react with suspicion and often cruelty. While Ellie was soon dubbed real-life Mowgli, as his facial features made him look like a monkey boy. At the time of his birth, Mowgli and Tarzan were popular movies, and the world was fascinated with the stories of boys raised by animals and living in the jungle. However, when it came to Ellie, the reaction was very different. Instead of being admired, he was treated with disgust and contempt. Adding to his misery, Ellie never developed speech and therefore was unable to ever express himself. He also had hearing difficulties that made his life even more challenging. There was no way he could defend himself when the children of the village made fun of him or bullied him relentlessly. Sometimes they would even push him up a tree to make fun of the monkey boy. Despite all of his problems and difficulties, Ellie was still an answer to prayer in the eyes of his mother, who knew that she would do everything in her ability to protect her child. It became her life's mission to shield her son from the ridicule and bullying of the local people. For this very reason, she would spend most of their time in the jungle of Rwanda, hiding her son from the remarks and all the hurtful comments of the villagers. Some days, Ellie would disappear into the jungle and happily spend time all on his own, away from the bullying and ridicule. Right before sunset, his mother would go look for him and bring him home for a warm meal and a bath. Although Ellie had a diminished cognitive ability, his mother would have loved for him to attend at least some type of school. Getting a basic education would give her son a boost to have a bit of an easier life when it came to navigating society. However, the bullying made this dream almost impossible. People even went so far as to chase the boy around in the village. 
Although his mother approached many schools, her son was turned away as the local institutions did not have the knowledge or capacity to teach children with special needs. Being diagnosed with microcephaly made this boy a fugitive for more than 20 years. He and his mother had to live an isolated life because of the ignorance of their community. If it wasn't for social media exposure, the boy might have simply died in the jungle of Rwanda. Fortunately in this case, the internet was used in a very positive way. For once, the misery of one family could be exposed to provide hope and assistance from unlikely sources. When Ellie's story went viral, the world was confronted with a very unique but desperate situation. In an interview, his single mother revealed that she had no financial support or means of income. The situation had become so desperate that Ellie would sometimes eat grass in the forest to try and survive. It was then that a crowdfunding initiative was brought to life. It was a call to action for people with sufficient resources to help this desperate family to improve their lives. Some days, for Ellie's mom, it may have felt like life was over, but all of a sudden, she was being given a second chance. Zanziman Ellie was about to embark on a new and exciting journey. The family was relocated to a new city where, for the first time in his life, he would meet other children with similar disabilities. The ride in the car was such an amazing experience for Ellie that he hung his head through the window in excitement. The wind in his face brought a tremendous amount of joy to this simple-minded boy. At the ripe age of 22, Ellie was getting his first chance to go to school. He was enrolled in the Ubunwe Community Center in Jiseni, Rwanda, which caters to special needs education for children with learning difficulties. Where many children around the world are often reluctant and lazy to go to school, he was excited to start learning. This wasn't the end of the interventions that would change Ellie's and his mother's lives. For the first time in her life, his mother got proper housing and she finally felt secure with a roof over her head. Being set up in a three-bedroom house built by well-wishers provided an escape from the jungle as well as from a life of desperate poverty. But what was about to happen to her son would be even more amazing. Ellie was given a makeover from head to toe. The funds collected allowed for a brand new type of school uniform that suited Ellie extremely well and made him look especially handsome. For the first time in his life, something was custom-made for him. He finally felt special and loved. The boy that was used to being a type of fugitive became a kind of celebrity in Rwanda. All of a sudden, people wanted to take photographs with him and shake his hand. Where in the past he had been shunned, people now wanted to be associated with him and his mother. His mom was also recognized for her continued support and protection of her son throughout the years and profusely admired for never giving up hope. Photographs of a younger Ellie covered in dirt and grass have gone viral, but the pictures he appears in now are even more shocking than before. Today, it is hard to picture this handsome man as the monkey boy. He blends into society and looks perfectly well-groomed. He still goes to school and even wears a suit that makes him look very sophisticated. His mother is proud of him, and for the first time in his life, the rest of the world is proud too. What an incredible story! Have you ever heard of Zanziman Ellie before? How would you treat a boy with such a disability? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.